One of the most intriguing aspects of astronomy events is the possibility of a supernova. Betelgeuse can be found in the well-known shoulder of the Orion constellation. Betelgeuse is a massive red star, close to the conclusion of its cycle. Pleasantly, in 2019, one of the sky's brightest stars began to dim. Being clearly visible to even the naked eye, its brightness diminished to such an extent that many observers questioned whether the star was dying. Pointing their binoculars at the scientists studying giant stars were astonished by the evidence of significant fading. Betelgeuse is thought to be near becoming a supernova, indicating the end of its existence. But when and why? Will there be an explosion of stars? It will have devastating effects for Earth. Is Betelgeuse, a glowing ruby star, lying on the right upper arm of Orion the Hunter? You can identify it by its position. Despite its other name, Alpha Orionis, it is the second most brilliant star in its constellation, in the shadow of the supergiant Rigel. It continues to be one of the most fascinating stars for astronomers because of its peculiar name and variable behavior. Alpha stars typically shine the brightest, even though the stars in the constellation's brightness, Rigel surpasses it. Betelgeuse is distinctive due to its size. Betelgeuse, also known as Alpha Orionis, is a well-known star, the tenth brightest, in the night sky and the seventh brightest visible from the majority of North America, Europe, and Canada. Its name, derived from Arabic, refers to the giant's armpit in reference to its position in the constellation. About one solar mass is lost by Betelgeuse every 10,000 years. Materials are ejected uniformly in all directions, resulting in a surrounding nebula. This nebula has a diameter of 30 astronomical units, 30 times as far apart as the Sun and Earth, and 250 times larger than the Sun at its center, larger than the star itself. Under pressure, Betelgeuse's hydrogen atoms fuse into helium, producing helium by immense gravity, releasing heat and light in the process. As the star runs out of hydrogen, it begins to combine helium and carbon as fuel. When the helium is used up, neon reacts with carbon to form iron. Iron fusion releases no energy, causing the star to collapse into itself due to gravity and eventually explode in one of the heaviest explosions in the universe, a supernova. In accordance with their ages and evolutionary stages, stars release light in different wavelengths from the bright blue of new stars to the red of old ones. As predicted by an ancient astronomer, Ptolemy, Betelgeuse was a certain color, referred to as curiously ruddy. However, astronomers in ancient China noted that Betelgeuse appeared to have a yellow color, implying that it might have been a large yellow supergiant in the past. Stars tend to use up hydrogen quickly, bringing them to an early end, even if they only live 10 million years. There is no doubt that Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its existence, while our sun continues to have more than 5 billion years to go. Betelgeuse is getting close to dying, which means it might explode as a supernova at some point, but exactly when this event will occur is still unclear. Betelgeuse undergoes whitening and dimming cycles every five years, lasting about 100 days. It is thought that the growth and contraction of its outer shell during these cycles result in changes to its diameter and average temperature. Many focused on Betelgeuse as a result of its unpredictable actions in 2019 and 2020 as its brightness diminished dramatically, only to briefly recover. Several astronomers have hypothesized that this conduct may indicate that the star is nearing the end of its life. In-depth research on Betelgeuse dates back to the 1st century BC, but the reason behind its dimming remains a complete mystery. Betelgeuse is moving, according to reports, at a speed of 30 kilometers through the interstellar medium after being thrown out of its position in the Orion OB-1 Association, which contains Orion's belt stars. More than four light years long, the shock arc is used to calculate the distance to Betelgeuse-like red supergiant stars, a difficult task in astronomy because of a variety of factors. It is difficult to determine its precise diameter as a pulsating star. The size of Betelgeuse fluctuates over time. 
This phenomenon, in addition to the stellar limb becoming dimmed, causes visual emission to dim and change color as we get further from the center of the star. Additionally, the envelope around the star, consisting of debris released by the star, plays a crucial role in producing and absorbing light, both of which influence our perception of its brightness. Direct Comparisons of Brightness Between Betelgeuses Observations are difficult to produce due to its apparent size varying based on the wavelength used. Diameters can change as much as 35% based on the wavelength used to examine them in the electromagnetic spectrum. In July 2009, the European Southern Observatory published images captured with a VLT interferometer ground-based telescope displaying an enormous gas plume that can reach 30 astronomical units from the star's atmosphere. One of several mass ejections from Betelgeuse was observed. This ejection was the same size as the angular distance between the Sun and Neptune. At least six ejections have been discovered in the midst of Betelgeuse. This phenomenon may provide insight into the mystery surrounding the final phases of mass loss of these enormous stars, which could be crucial to their demise. The complex dynamics of Betelgeuse remain a mystery, as does the precise procedure by which these red supergiant stars' material is ejected, crucial for the recirculation of matter in galaxies. As a result of advancements in interferometric techniques, astronomers are getting closer to solving this mystery. In 2019, researchers using the Hubble telescope and additional telescopes found that Betelgeuse had thrown a significant portion of its observable surface, resulting in a substantial surface mass ejection, SME. Despite the sun's production of coronal mass ejections, Betelgeuse's was a thousand times more intense, releasing a sizable amount of substance 400 billion times more massive than a typical coronal ejection from the sun. Betelgeuse suffered a rapid decrease in luminosity in October 2019. By the middle of February 2020, it had lost about two-thirds of its brightness, rising from a magnitude between 0.5 and 1.7. By February 17, 2020, the brightness of Betelgeuse had remained relatively constant for over a month. On the fifth of the month, it appeared that the star had completely stopped dimming. Nevertheless, the most recent visual fades were not related to the possibility of its core collapsing due to the absence of significant infrared changes observed. On February 24, 2020, let me know in the comments what you think. Click the like button if you like the video and subscribe to avoid missing out on more material similar to this one. When Betelgeuse finally explodes in a supernova, it will be one of the most remarkable celestial events in history. Despite being 640 light years away, the explosion will be so bright that it might outshine the moon. The full moon in our night sky, which can even be seen during the day for possibly months or weeks, pales in comparison to a supernova. According to their estimates, the supernova will produce more energy in the space of seconds than our sun will in its entire lifespan of 10 billion years. The explosion's light will accelerate to eventually reach Earth through space as a brilliant light source, unlike anything we've ever seen. But don't worry about it, we are completely protected during a supernova. That close proximity may imply danger, but Betelgeuse is still quite a ways away from Earth, so ours won't be hurt by the blast environment or life. What it will do, however, is provide first-of-their-kind opportunities in science. Years later, Betelgeuse is back to its levels of brightness, but it's not consistent. Monitoring of the dimming cycles continues closely. Instruments are being used by scientists, similar to the James Webb Space Telescope, the ground-based Hubble Space Telescope, and interferometers such as ALMA and VLT. They are observing changes in convective cell brightness at the surface, patterns, and the persistent loss of mass events that appear to indicate the star's instability. One common hypothesis is that the great dimming of Betelgeuse was caused by a huge cloud of dust from the star, created during one of these outbursts, temporarily, obstructing the star's light from our perspective. Astronomers could benefit from Betelgeuse to discover the massive star's life cycles, especially those that are close to a supernova.
This knowledge could assist us in understanding similar events in other galaxies, comprehend the universe's chemical enrichment, and learn how elements such as iron and gold are created and distributed throughout space. Battlejuice is basically a fantastic time bomb, which may be ticking slowly. It could explode in the coming year or in 100,000 years, but once it does, it will provide a scientific experiment and a cosmic light show unlike any other treasure trove in recent memory. Betelgeuse continues to be one of the most closely observed stars in modern astronomy because of its erratic behavior and the possibility of it becoming a nearby supernova. Despite the timeline remaining uncertain, scientists have accepted its inevitable explosion. What keeps researchers interested is not only when it will occur, but also how the process will proceed, providing perspectives that cannot be captured by observing more distant or ancient supernovae. This proximity permits high-resolution monitoring of each and every light change, surface activity, and temperature, contributing to Betelgeuse being a fantastic natural laboratory for studying the death of stars. As instruments improve, astronomers now have the ability to detect tiny alterations to the star's photosphere, the layer that gives off light. These shifts frequently reflect internal processes that have not yet been fully comprehended. The shifts in temperature and brightness are believed to be caused by large convective cells, essentially enormous plasma bubbles that rise and fall on the star's surface, causing significant changes in how it appears from Earth. These patterns can encompass a significant portion of the star's diameter and are able to change over several weeks or months, contributing to the star's erratic light curves. Another element that contributes to the complexity of Betelgeuse is its rotational behavior. As opposed to smaller, more stable stars, Betelgeuse rotates slowly and unevenly. This rotation impacts how the material is spread out on its exterior layers and exacerbates the chaotic occurrences of mass ejections. Each time the star eliminates a portion of its atmosphere, the surrounding space is enriched with more powerful influences on future star and planet formation. The traces of these ejections form gas and dust clouds that disperse and influence the star's behavior by absorbing light at various wavelengths. According to some simulations, the star may already be nearing the end of its fusion of heavier substances, like silicon, which occurs shortly before the core's collapse. If accurate, this would imply that Betelgeuse is significantly nearer the end of its existence than anticipated. However, in these models, the error margin is significant, considering the vast scales of time and the unpredictability that comes with it. Astronomers have studied massive stellar evolution and continue improving these models by utilizing data gathered throughout the electromagnetic spectrum, from ultraviolet to infrared, to refine estimations regarding the star's interior processes. Indeed, the, the end. Betelgeuse will be more than just a dazzling visual spectacle. It will also be an enormous scientific discovery. The nutrients, electromagnetic waves, and gravitational waves released will provide multiple layers of information regarding the events during a supernova. Almost immediately, telescopes all over the world, in addition to those already in orbit, are prepared with protocols for observation designed to react immediately to the first signs of collapse. While scientists work to make use of every tool to remain vigilant, each observation reveals a stellar giant. Humanity is getting closer to comprehending not only Betelgeuse's fate, but also the complete life cycle of a massive star. The demise of a massive star is not merely a conclusion, but an initial seeding of the universe with the necessary components for life, preparing the way for the creation of new planets and stars far in the future.